Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel if you're new here. In this video, I'm gonna go over my favorite pencil poppers to use in the back harbors and the back bays. And then I'll finish off the video by going over how I fish them and I'll show you a short clip of a fish breaking off my 3D inshore pencil popper that I recently been using. So we'll start this video off with the lures on this side which are lighter and I'll work my way over to the heavier lures on this side. I'll start by going over the lure that looks most, most different one out of all of these. This one's called the Yozuri Hydro Pencil. And this is like a spook type of lure, but they do call it a pencil. Out of all of them, it has a different front shape. It doesn't have that cut wedge shape. So what this one does is it actually doesn't make as much surface disturbance. This one, you basically fish one way. You do the walk the dog style with it. So it does a zigzag when you twitch the end of the rod and retrieve slowly. So this lure will create a small wake. It does have a rattle in it, one rattle. So it's not too loud. It's a very subtle lure to use in the back bay when you don't want to be shaking up the whole water. So this is the Yozuri pencil, hydro pencil, and it weighs about one ounce, it's 30 grams. So this is a good one for the back bays when you wanna present something small and you don't want it to disturb too much water. Next up, we have the Yozuri 3D Insure Pencil Popper. This is the floating, all these are floating models. So this is the 135F, which stands for 135 millimeters and the F is for floating. What's unique about this bait is it does make a little more noise. It has these two double rattles in it. Um, one large rattle makes that deeper sound and the two small ones make that higher pitch noise. Um, this first model I'd like to mention is through wired so it's nice and strong. This, this model isn't through wired but I haven't had any issues with these wires ever pulling out. It seems like the plastic, the way they sent them in is really strong. So this is the 3D inshore pencil popper, and you can fish this one in two ways. One similar to the pencil, hydro pencil, you can actually do walk the dog with this one. And this one will make a little more noise since it has the three rattles in it. And this makes, this one is very easy to walk the dog just like the hydro pencil. And another way you can fish these pencils, just like the remaining four, is you can do a rapid jigging motion with the tip of your rod and make this splash and dance on top of the water as you retrieve very slowly. So that will make a little more commotion and a little more noise if you want to imitate a dying bait fish on the top of the water that's struggling to uh, stay swimming correctly. Uh, the third lure we have here is the smaller cotton cordell lure. It's the pencil and this one um, is not through wired also, but I've never heard of anyone really having an issue with the, the wires pulling out through the plastic. What's nice about this model, it, it does have a front swivel on the front hook, so the fish can't get as much leverage. This one does have rattles in it and it's very loud. So if you want to create a lot of noise, the Cotton Cordell is a good lure, lure to go with. Um, also, now that I forgot, we'll mention the prices of the lures. Uh, currently, it's 2022. This Yozuri 3D Insure Pencil Popper and the Hydro Pencil Popper are $12 lures. And with shipping, they're about 15 bucks after tax and shipping here in New York. Uh, the Cotton Cordell is actually the cheapest out of all these lures. It comes in, at, I think, around $9 or so. So it's about $10 after tax. Um, so this one, just like the pencil lures, you can either fish them walk the dog style, nice and quiet. Well, this one is pretty loud since it has a rattle. And the other way to fish it is you can rapidly jig the tip of your rod and make this splash on top of the water, creating a lot of commotion and noise. Um, I'll show you guys how these float, but the difference between the larger, besides the weight, is the fact that the the larger pencil will actually float horizontally and these smaller cotton cordels will float with their back down and the nose up. So same with the smaller cotton cordel. This cotton cordel will also walk the dog and you could jig it quickly to make a splashing motion. It also does have the front swivel, which is a good thing when you're fighting a large fish so they can't get leverage on you. 
It also does have a loud rattles in it, so it does cause a lot of commotion. Uh, I think the pricing on this one might be slightly more than the smaller one. Generally speaking, I use the smaller one a lot more. The fifth lure I have up here, I don't use these too often anymore, I used to, but this is the Tactular Anglers TA Smart Lure Pencil. And this used to have, well, it used to rattle, but that's the only issue I find with these lures is um, the rattle stops working after a while. Uh, this is also a floating lure. They're all floating. And this one's the second heaviest in all these, uh, the lineup here. And similarly, you can actually walk the dog with this one or you can jig it rapidly and make it splash and dance on top of the water. The last lure out here is the Ocean Born Flying Pencil Popper. And this is the 160 floating model. And I've actually been using this lure a lot. I really find it casts really well. It holds up to a lot of abuse from bluefish and it has the nice swivels in, in there and really nice hardware. It's through wired just like the tackle anglers and it has uh, swivels. This one also has a nice rattle in it and it's not too loud. So I like sometimes it not being too, too loud but loud enough where the fish will hear it but not be scared by it. And so it actually has a special rib system under here where it's supposed to create less drag, kind of like a, how a golf ball's dimpled. And it has these uh, unique wings here. Supposedly it will uh, create some lift, like an airplane wing, when you cast it. So these are um, all the pencil poppers that I like to use in the back bay and the back harbor. And you could also use these on the beachfront when it's a calmer day out, I like to use these and they'll effectively work really well. So I've been using these two mostly in the past uh, week or two with a lot of success. And if I want a little larger presentation, I've been going with the Ocean Born. If I want a little smaller, I've been going with the Yozuri. Uh, so a little note about fishing for these bluefish or stripers is you want to use about a two or three foot leader. A little longer maybe if you're fishing on the dock because it allows you to land the fish. You can grab the leader and then pull it up. And you want to be using, I, I've been using a 30, but you want to really be using a 40 to 80 pound leader. It'll really minimize the chance of the bluefish biting through your leader. But you got to remember the, the higher pound leader, you're going to get less action on the lure. Another thing to note is when you do fish these pencil popper or pencil type of lures is you want to use a TA clip. So, or if you're not using a TA clip, you want to tie a loop knot on the end. So this is what a TA clip looks like. This is the smallest one. I use the much larger ones like the 50 and 75 pound for fishing on these pound tests. You want to use the TA clip because it creates a loop on the end. Or if you're tying a uni knot or a loop knot, you can create a little loop on the end and that's gonna allow the lure to get, get a little more action when the line is uh, slacked up. So it won't be attached to the line tightly. So the lure will be free to move around. I find that if you tie directly and don't put a loop knot or TA clip, Sometimes you can't walk the dog as easily. You'll find yourself struggling to walk walk the dog. So what I'll do with these lures right now is I'll bring them out into a bucket and I'll show you guys how they float. And then we'll transition the video into a video of me fishing a dock recently where I lose this particular lure to a bluefish. I was fishing the dock I used to fish as, as a kid and lately all the bluefish have been in and I guess when he hit this, he must have grabbed on a little too much to the front and wore through the leader eventually. So I, I'll bring you guys out there and then I uh, hope you guys enjoy this last clip. All right guys, we're out here. I got this bucket full of water. Um, so we'll start out with these lighter lures right here and we'll see how they, they stand, they sit in the water. Uh, we'll start with this Yozuri floating hydro pencil and you can see it sticks straight up like with the tail down I like lures that actually do this I find they're more effective uh, so this one's actually a really good one this also actually sits kind of with the tail down but not as much so already you can see the difference if you're you know using two different these actually weigh the same but they actually look way different in the water you know depending on how you fish them so we'll move over to the cotton cordel, the smaller one, and see that how that hits. 
that sits, I mean, it sits with the tail down. And as you see, this larger cotton cordel wants to stay perfectly flat. So this tail doesn't even go down at all. All right, so we'll move on next to the tactical anglers lure. And as you see, that's got the tail down also. Very, very much tail down. And it, and it almost doesn't want to float much, as you can see. And now we'll go with the ocean-born pencil popper. Another one that sits with its tail down and really doesn't want to stay on top of the water as much. So, depending on how you want to fish these lures, if you want to go with a slower presentation, you know, or faster, it's going to affect, affect the way you uh, fish, the way it sits in the water. Knowing that, hopefully this will help you guys choose what lures to use in certain situations. And we'll transition this video into that fish that I lost and the lure that I lost, but luckily I replaced it right away since uh, I felt like I was doing really well with it. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you already watched the video all the way till here. And thank you for watching. Yeah, fish on, baby. Woo! That's how we do it. <laughs> Yeah, it's a bluefish. They're decent. They're always pretty fun. All right, guys, I just got this bluefish on on this intro popper again. Tighten up the drag a little because Felt like he was running too much. Oh, he broke off. Damn it. Maybe it was too tight. Jesus. Oh, well, there goes my inshore popper. Damn it. Let's see what I got back on the end. They got teeth, though. No, they're not.